Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. This is the Elan Paul channel. My name is Paul and as you have seen by the title of course this is the permadeath playthrough to the center of the galaxy. Now we I just checked we have gone through 22 over 22 and a half hours of gameplay on this permadeath run and have yet to get killed one time. That's really really interesting. Um, you get to a point like this and you start to get a little nervous. That crap if I lose it if I, if I die at some point, you know, in a, in a freighter battle or something like that, it's really going to mess things up. Um, so I want to state at this point that what will happen is, is that, yes, everything gets deleted. We do start over again, but uh, we'll, we'll have to try to rush. It won't be as much of a storyline at that point, as much as it is a quick run to get as far as we can as possible. But now we're getting real dicey. See, we've already gone through the main storyline with Artemis. We're already in the secondary storylines, and as you can see by the log, we've already gotten a lot of our secondary missions. The base is done. I mean, the base computer archives is one thing. We could do that, but we're at 99.9%, .9 and all we do is just jump from station to station. It's a continuing mission. There's nothing more to do. Community research will always be up here, as usual. Exploration guide will always be up here. We can never complete that. So we have to go to the secondary missions. We got two. We have Dreams of the Deep, Planet in Distress. These are the two next ones. Now the Planet in Distress one's going to be a little bit more involved. I think what we need to do on the Planet in Distress, and I'd like you to leave a comment on this if you'd like, um, I think we need to leave that until we literally get to the center of the galaxy. Once we've reached the center, once we've completed it, I think then we do a series of... Uh, uh, kind of the epilogue, if you will, of doing Planet in Distress. That's a long, drawn-out run, and it really doesn't involve much getting to the center of the galaxy. Um, but I think it's an interesting playthrough. And by the things I'm getting on this playthrough, uh, the character development, the ships, uh, uh, multi-tools, things like that, I'm really kind of liking this one, and I think I'm going to be keeping this as a main permadeath save, if you will. So it'll be... One of those things I'll hang on to for a while. Very interesting. Now, we have the other ones to do. We're going to be doing the Atlas Path. path and you'll notice that the Remembrance mission has disappeared once we have completed the Atlantid missions. Very interesting. And I'm wondering if we should have done that first. Just something to think about. Space Anomaly will always be up here. New Beginnings will always be up here. So the Atlas Path uh, is going to be the next one. But we're going to do Dreams of the Deep first. And that's what our episode's about today. This is a long episode, folks. This one takes a while. And as long as we survive this, secondary missions are complete. We can go to the Atlas Path. And then once we're doing, done with the Atlas Path, we will start working our way towards the center. It'll be hop, skip, and jump. So how many more missions, how many more episodes do we have to go? I have no clue. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to restart mission using nearby structures because the actual mission was activated either in the last galaxy or this one, but in a system very far away. And I'm not going to bother trying to get there right now. So we'll just restart, and you're allowed to do that. Mission restarted. And you'll see that it says return to space to intercept a signal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. So how far into this? We're about three and a half minutes into our episode already, and we're going to get going here. So again, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the... Uh, settlement video, uh, settlement option on this one. I really, I'd love to do it. It just, it literally takes days. And I'm not going to adjust my time on my uh, computer or take it offline, if you will. There we go. We pulse drive and we get a signal. So, tell me what, tell me what you think. There we go. Distorted voice. They left us. Duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. Interesting. How does he know? If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please. So we input the coordinates. My starship processed the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission has decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Okay. So we want to investigate the signal. I'm waiting for the signal to appear on my screen. There we go. So it's going to be in our system here someplace. Let's turn this way, down below. It's on this planet over here. So what is this planet? It's the noxious one. Yay. With activated copper. Yay. Okay, that means it's going to be some nasty storms on this planet, but we'll do the best we can. It's 
what we're given. We have to deal with it as we're given it. So we'll see how it goes. Now, I've turned off, if you haven't noticed, I've turned off the pulse lines so you don't get that as much. So hopefully the video will be a little clearer now. And that's just a mod, by the way. We're not going to get the nearby items of interest nearby, you know, all that crap. So, all right, here we go. And it looks like there's already a storm going on, so this ought to be fun. Doesn't look like there's storm crystals. Oh, yeah, there are. Plenty of storm crystals on this planet, huh? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to land there because I think that'll give me a better opportunity. Plus, it looks like, yeah, it is a uh, minor uh, trading outpost here. So we can check out the multi-tool while we're here. Yep, got to go through that. Extreme hazardous planet. Alright, let's see. I want to see something real quick. So this is my multi-tool as it stands right now. Really nice, the Omic Neutron Probe. I'm going to change the name so I know that this is my main multi-tool. Um... <laughs> got the U. There we go. Alright. Okay, so now we know which ones are main multi-tool. So when we go in here, I'm going to take a look at the multi-tools we've got, uh, which is a great one. And you'll notice I changed some of the names to these. Cell, cell. Keep this one. Cell. And that's my staff weapon. So we're going to hang on to that until we get a better one. All right. So what that means is, is that if I find a decent multi-tool I'd rather have in place of the one I've got, I can trade out real fast. So this is an A-class one. Also, oh, Oh, size impulse auditor. It's actually not a bad rifle. Um, we have no... None of the ones up here are the supercharged slots. So it makes it wonder... We can wonder to ourselves if we upgrade it. Will we get a four slots this area over here? This is actually worth it. What's the uh, charge on it? What's the price? It says exchange, so we'd have to exchange it for one of the other ones. Let me do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, this one is a... Interesting one. Let's see what kind of money we can get for it. See, so yeah, a 2.8 thousand, pardon me, million. All right, we'll, we'll trade it out for this one. This one really didn't help us much, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So we're going to exchange for 2.8 million, so that way we have this one. So I'm going to leave the name the same on it. I'm not going to change its name because I do want to check it out one day in the, uh, you know, in the space stations. Get some multi, get some nanites, of course. If we talk to this guy at these uh, minor trading outposts, they sometimes give us upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, so this guy is a Viking. I love the face paint. And the, wow, that's pretty cool. He's got those two tusks coming out the side of his head and rearing back. He's got what looks like uh, uh, mechanical pieces on the front of his chin and a mechanical head, uh, head for, I don't know, hat, if you will. Very interesting. Life form clicks their heels together in an authoritarian flat fashion. They display a series of holographic images, a reptilian figure, and a taller life form in a metal casing, before gesturing aggressively with their weapon. So which one do we choose is basically what it is. The life form in the metal casing obviously would be considered the Corvax, and the reptilian figure would probably be the Viking. So let's see what it has to say. Interloper, Luhun, Viking, blah, 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 Viking. We can't understand much, most of what he's saying here. The warrior snarls at me, and their fingers twitch over the weapon's trigger. Trigger. They demand an answer. So, one, surrender information, two, claim ignorance, and three, attempt to intimidate Viking rank, accomplice, or above. Since we have the ability to be an accomplice right now, we could try intimidating. So we could surrender the information, which would upset him. We could claim ignorance, which would also upset him. We really need to choose number three. Let's see if it works. I stand tall and bark at the warrior as fiercely as I can, attempting to resemble a Viking of high rank. Ensign Ilhundo looks astonished. Conditioned by years of obedience, they become cowed, apologetic. They hand over their own multi-tool as tribute. Oh, wow. And it's the same one. 
a little di slightly different color, I think. And multi-tool slots. He's also got advanced mining laser, a scatter blaster on here, but a lot of damage spots on it. Unfortunately, because we already have a different multi-tool in our possession right now, we would have to trade it out. And I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to compare. See, I'd have to exchange it. That really sucks. <laughs> Because it looks like a halfway decent multi-tool. But it is B-class. The one I have right now is an A-class. So we'll go ahead and just decline. But thank you, my friend. Thank you. Let's go back to choosing our own, own multi-tool, by the way. And I don't think I can talk to him. I can talk to him again. Let's try something real quick. Let's do this. D-D-D. Uh, sell. Let's go to this one. Can we exchange it again? They seem done with talking. I get no further response. Okay, leave. All right, so we can't do it. We have to do it on the on the fly. All right, where's my neutron probe? There we go. All right, let's just check out the terminal real quick and see if there's anything in there that strikes my interest. I think I got plenty of dioxite and pugnium. Do we? How are we doing on that? Uh, my ship doesn't have any pugnium on it. We're running a little low on gold. Exosuit. We have four movement modules, C-class, and we have a phase beam module that we need to sell, as well as a bunch of tritium. Why do we have all this tritium? I guess we're trying to sell it. You know, plenty of dioxide we don't need anymore. We don't have any pugnium that I can see. No, we don't. Let's grab the pugnium. I'm going to sell the other items while I'm at it, because uh, we don't really need the tritium. Let me see here. Hold on. Got to look carefully because I'm going to skip right past everything. Definitely want to keep the uranium, the dioxide. There we go, tritium. Let's get rid of that. It's only 4,000, but it's just I don't need it. I'm going to keep the feline livers because they, in a pinch, they can help you. Okay. All right, that's the only thing to sell. Buy, and we're not going to worry about dioxide at this point. A rusted metal, we want the pugnium. Okay. Because pugnium is very handy to have. Um... I'm actually going to move it over there myself because I want to put it in my inventory of my starship in a specific spot. There we go. Um, it's very handy to have in case you have run into issues out there. And I do have, you see, I have a plasma, unstable plasma because my multi-tool, I think, has... Does it have the voltaic amplifier in it? No. Okay, it must be from one of the other multi-tools. All right, and I'll hang on to it for now, just just in case. All right, anything else we need? Let's check our vendor over on the side here. Technology merchant. We're going to check his opponents first. Uh, we got salvage data, too. It's nice to have some extra salvage data. I'm running low, actually. Let's switch over to Starship Inventory because that's where it's housed. Glass, quantum computer. I'm not going to really get anything else. Plus, we don't really need exosuit upgrade charts that we really could use an upgrade at some point or another. I just don't like going looking for drop pods. So, we'll hold off on that. It's funny how I haven't really in gotten anything in regards to that. But, you know, whatever. All right, one more time. We're going to go in and check out his blueprints. And we can only get toxin suppressor and barrel ionizer. So, we really can't get anything from him. Um... Yeah, none of this stuff is really that great anyway, so let's check. I think we have toxic environment protection, do we not? Yes, we do, 97%. Excellent. Okay. So we've cleared out the station. Let's hit the F button. Our target is 1,000 units that way. So I'm guessing there's a building out that way someplace. So to our straight out that way, um, which is to the not quite north North northeast, it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and fly over there. This way. Let's do a quick scan, see if there's any buildings. I don't see anything just yet. Now, I don't know, maybe it's a crashed ship. Alright, there is a building right there. All right, let's land there. It's got an actual landing pad. But let's go ahead and land at it. This looks like a transmission tower of some sort. Okay. Here we can find a crash ship anyway. 
How are we doing on condensed carbon? We're doing all right. I'll hang off on that. Target in range. Okay, so this is actually the spot. Okay, so we want to go inside this building. All right, very good. It's a shame. I thought we could find another crash ship, but it is what it is. All right, what do we got? We got another Viking in here. We got some nanites. Let's go ahead and grab the nanites. Okay. Gave us about 70 nanites. Anything else I can take from this facility besides the navigation data? Let's check out the officer real quick. Warrior looks up from a screen of flashing alerts. They bare their teeth at me, quivering with barely contained fury. Pathetic interloper, something warrior, and death, death. Okay. It's clear that my presence is barely tolerated here. The warrior's hand reaches to their weapon. So we got choices. One, leave the warrior alone. Two, offer to help. And three, stare. You don't ever want to offer to help. You don't want to leave him alone. I'm just going to stare at him. I stay where I am, staring at the warrior. My continued presence unsettles them. Eventually, they offer me a handful of nanites if I leave. Except. Good deal. He gave me 109 nanites. Cool. <clears throat> that was good. I always talk to those Viking, man. All right, so we're going to hit the transmission tower, distorted voice. Reach event, plus 407 souls. So that means that this event occurred in this log uh, 407 days after this log. This log was made 407 days after they landed. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger is left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. The upgrade module. I take the upgrade module. Its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. He just told me not to. <laughs> Ooh, an S-Class upgrade. Cool. Um, no, I don't want to follow that. Okay, so we do have... Do we have an underwater module in here? We do have one. It's just a regular one. Um, aeration membrane. Because we had the aeration membrane, it gave us an S-Class upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and install that over here next to that. So it really doesn't make a difference where it's located. Let me try something real quick. I'm going to move my refiner and put it next to the other one. Ah, they do upgrade each other. Man, I'm running out of space up there. <laughs> All right. So now we have an upgrade module. Now that requires these guys, the life support gels. And it'd probably be a good idea to make more. I've got eight dihydrogen jellies. I'm going to go ahead and use this carbon and dihydrogen jellies. There we go. I got 12 of them now. Excellent. And an inventory mostly cleared out. Um, I should have tried to sell them at the other vendor, but I guess not. I can probably sell them in a space station. Okay, we got a storm going on out there, so what's next? Uh, okay, perform a scan and search for the previous owner. Let's do that. Starship signal trace established. Follow the signal trace. Where is it? Um, no, about you, but I'm looking at the map at the very top and I'm not seeing it. Let me get in my ship. Maybe it makes a difference. And do one more scan. Maybe that'll help. To the right. To the right. To the right. There we go. Off we go. Uh, 20 minutes away. We're going to go ahead and hit space. Okay, and we'll pulse drive to the location. Much better. Instead of 20 minutes, it takes 10 seconds. Excellent. Okay, now we're coming in. Now this will be the starship itself, so we're still going to be on land. But there's a lot of water nearby, so it says approximate location. Now to, to find this, you want to be in first person view and look at your um, radar at the bottom. If you find the diamond will appear when a ship appears on your radar. There it is, see? Right there little square, not a diamond. Looks like it's right in front of me. 
Ow. I just hit something. It looks like it's right in front of me, but I don't see it. I love how this ship can hover, though. Supposedly, it's right in front of me. Other side of this hill, maybe? I just hit the ground again. <laughs> Alright, let's go to this view. It's, it's, I'm guessing it's right on the other side of this hill. No, it's not. Alright, let's land and take a look. Somehow we're missing it. It might be in the water, I'm guessing. Hold on. This looks like a good ample place to stop. And take a look. 196, so it is in the water, it looks like. Oh, yeah, 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 you see it down there. Right down there. In the water. See the glow. Okay, let's give this thing a test. Into the sea we go. Yep, looks like an explorer class. Now you see they got the marine uh, unit over here, so you can go inside if you're running out of air and just hop in. Look at that. And you can recharge your air and not be underwater anymore. Now you can't see any of the sea creatures from in here. That's the weird part about this. You have to literally be in the water to see them, which kind of sucks. See? There's some swimming around over there, and we can't see them. There's no red dots, so we have to actually exit the unit in order to see them. Usually a good idea to scan them, because you need to know if there's any of these creatures are going to attack you as well. i got three of them. Quickly into the escape menu, let's see what we got. Rare, okay, that's flying, flying, flying. Flying, flying, and flying. Looks like everything on this planet flies except for these three underwater creatures. So we discovered all the underwater ones. Um, let's see what we got. Acidic blood. Uh, soft drift. Asymptomatic. Symmetric. That might be a one of the ones that might bite us. So we got to be careful of them. All right. Okay. Let's head over here. Distorted voice. Log. Plus four souls breach event. Okay, so four days after they landed. Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve the blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have the plans for the Nautilin. So we're going to download the Nautilin plans. And there it is. So we need the Nautilin. We don't need the marine shelter as much, but we do need the Nautilin. Construct the Nautilin submarine. So if you want to see what it takes to construct one of those, there it is. And we're going to need five metal plates, no big deal there, four crystal sulfides and 100 salt. Salt we can get from a couple different things. Um, let's go ahead and gather up some items from the machinery or the uh, damage machinery down here and the other items. We just got a Starship Shield module. That's good. Uh, what about this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, got some sodium. Damage container gave us... What? Hopefully dihydrogen? A microprocessor. That works too. And we have some buried technology over here. Which we should be able to get swimming above it. No? Okay, we can't do it. We're going to have to use our terrain manipulator. It's hard to do this underwater. Fortunately, we have all this... Uh, we have two levels of help for us under here. All right, let's scan the plants and see what they can give us. Primary and secondary elements. Carbon, not going to help us. Uh, let's see here. Let me take a look closer at everything. That is a rock. That gives us chlorine. Chlorine we can turn into salt if we have to. Uh, let's see, what about this plant here? Inorganic. That gives us salt. Alright, so let's go ahead and we have to switch over to our runic lens. Now, by getting this, what could happen is it may release... Well, that gave us salt too, huh? How much salt did we get? Uh, wow, 
Okay, we've already gotten nearly 100 salt. Kelp sack, I don't know if we're going to keep that or not. That's so salt as well. And that's salt as well. That gave us a lot of salt. It gave us over 200 salt just from those. Now you see those little white things that popped out of there? They protect plants occasionally. You'll have to either take them out or they're going to attack you. Especially once they figure out you're there. All right, there we go. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Now you notice my uh, water units are going down. So I need to, first of all, let's get our ammonia into our toxic environment shield. Water pumps, we can use oxygen or life support gel. And we're going to get the other one going. We'll use another life support gel. So they're both fully charged now. We need crystal sulfides. That comes from these plants over here crystal sulfide unit these things explode be very careful you can get three at a time from each of them one two go to the other side you see it rocking that means get away from it now we will need living pearls as well so where's my ship at let me make sure i'm going the right direction here we'll need living pearls as well at some point okay we are on the surface there is another one of those crystal sulfides my suggestion on these you see i got a whole bunch of these plants nearby that's very unusual collect as many as you can you need them okay so let's go ahead and grab them and then we're going to grab some pearls because we'll need those too i can guarantee it one two this one's going to start rumbling in a second i can't get it three okay let's go to the next one it's already shaking from behind me there you go boom I don't know what that was. Weird noise through my speakers, maybe? I don't know. And if these explode when you're near them, you will get heat damage. I think I gotta get away from that one, because I think he's about to explode, too. Now, I see that two-star thing? That is a very valuable item right here. Let's go over there. That is called a submerged relic. And if you gather that, you will get a Hadal core. Hadal cores, by the way, are worth some money. So if you check that out, get 92,000 for each of those. So I'm going to get rid of the kelp sacks. Looks like we got plenty of crystal sulfides. So we'll go ahead and hang on to that. Um, and these are supposed to be in my ship. I don't know how those got there. There we go. Okay, moving along. I've also got other things. Now, there's our... What do you call it? Armored clams, you can shoot them and they open up and damage you. And when they close again, watch, there they go. They can damage you again. Best thing to do, go into first person view, just get real close. And I should be able to pick up the pearl. Did they not? I can't do it anymore? All right, let me back up a little bit. Zoom in, pick up the pearl. I'm gonna try not shooting one first and gather up a pearl on my own. There's a couple 200 blocks away. Uh, there should be one much closer than that. Come on. All right, there's one right in front of me. Here we go. First person view. We should be able to just go right up to it. There we go. As long as you haven't opened it first, you should be able to get one, and they won't damage you when they open. All right. Looks like I need to recharge everything again. And there we go. All right, we got two pearls. I would like to have a few more. Everything is so far away here, I don't know why. Because usually it's the armored clams that are much, much closer to you. Alright, let's get those over there. I need a few of them. The reason I think, I, if I remember correctly, what I need them for is for fuel. With an Autolin. But I don't quite remember. It could just be for upgrades. I can never remember. Alright, we're going to get this one. And... Should be a couple over here. There's two, yeah. Use our jets underwater, and then we'll head back to the ship. Oh, good, there's a few. There's a couple of them over here. One and two. And we'll get this one over here. And then we'll start heading back. No idea what that is. I don't even know if your speakers are picking it up. 
if you're picking it up in the audio, but there's some scratching sounds, and I don't know what that is. Uh, we got a whole bunch of clams over here. I'm going to grab as many as I can on my way back to my ship. So, we see the ship's over there. Let's head down. So, we've got four, I believe, right now. Or maybe we don't. How many do we have? We have six. Seven. Okay, let's get a few more. Eight. Nine. I have to get one more. That'll fill up the stack. There it is. Ten. Okay, we're good. Let's head back. Right in time for a toxic rainstorm. Yay! Now, if you're underwater and need air, you've got certain plants that give you air. Okay, there's the site. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't try to take the ship. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's get out of first person, though. It is kind of neat to go in first person while you're here. All right, what do we got? It's a B-Class. That's pretty good. Got a couple upgraded slots. Doesn't really have anything in its inventory we can we can get rid of. Can we can we gather it? We can claim the ship. Okay. But before we do that, where's our ship at? Up there. So we want to go that way. We just got to remember to go that way because when we claim the ship, it's going to take the place of the one we have. So we'll claim it. And we'll head this way. Okay. And go to our real ship. So you can see it up there. There it is. And one of our underwater units is done. Um, why can't we recharge it? I guess we can only recharge it when we're in the water. That's weird. Alright. Hey, we're in our ship. All right, let's take a look real quick here. I want to charge that up. I don't know why it did that. Um, let's do our life support gel on it. And on the other one, I'm going to do oxygen. Where's my oxygen? Okay, there we go. All right. So everything's recharged on there. Everything's ready to go. We got 10 pearls. We have to make the Nautilin chamber. How much ferrite do I have? I have that. I need five plates to build it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So, let's go back in the water. Okay. And we're going to put it down here next to the ship where it was. Our Nautilin chamber. So now that we have everything right, we got 100 salt. Okay, good. Build it. And they will come. No, I'm just kidding. Now, a little trick. You got your Exocraft. Go ahead, go back into your build menu and delete the base. And you will get the five metal plates and four crystal sulfides back and the salt. So you'll get everything back you needed. Now, my suggestion would be, once you're inside the Nautilin, it's got full fuel, but you're going to need... Well, it doesn't have any fuel at all. So we're going to have to make fuel for it. So there it is. You'll see this literally. It's got... Oh, it's got three upgraded slots. That's very nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my crystal sulfides in the Nautilin. So that they're not in my main inventory. I'm going to put the pearls in there as well. Where we'll keep the Hadal core and the metal plates. So that way, anytime we want to make it, we can, you know, build it. Uh, I'll hang on to that. Although, putting it in my starship would be better, but I can't reach my starship from here. And the salt we'll put in there as well. What is this for? Starship shield module. I guess I should have put it in my ship when I had a chance. No big deal. Okay, we got plenty of inventory space now. So, we're ready to go. Now, it tells us, construct a hydrothermal fuel cell to fuel the Nautilin. Okay, let's do that real quick. Uh, let's see. Where is the recipe? Oh, there it is. It's right in the front. So we need 40 salt, which we've got. We need 40 cytophosphate and then 40 carbon. So cytophosphate is the next thing we need. There's plants under here that usually give us cytophosphate. So we'll need 40 of that. I suggest getting about 120 of it at least, maybe 160. Make enough, obviously, if you do the math, three to three to four extra, uh, three to three extra cells or so, give or take. I'm going to stick this Humboldt drive into one of the slots too while I'm thinking of it. All right, let's go find ourselves cytophosphate. So look at any plants around you that you can actually scan. Got question marks that pop up as you scan plants. 
There's one, inorganic material, I'll read it anyway. That gives us salt. Salt. Carbon. Wow. There's got to be some cytophosphate down here someplace. Oh, I'll go ahead and read this too. See if this has it. Chlorine. Salt. Wow. Okay, we're running into a little bit of a problem here. I don't find any plants. That can't be right. Well, we can look up the recipe and go to our base and try to... I'm going to go up to the surface real quick here, by the way. Actually, let me go to get my Nautilin. And we'll bring it to our starship. I can't move it. Darn it. <laughs> I should have known that. Oh, you know, I didn't scan this plant. Hold on, what does he get? There it is. It's those guys. So we'll have to be careful. 32 cytophosphate. So we need those spiky plants is what we need. Okay, let's see what else we got. What? Oh, three souls in extreme worlds, huh? Yeah, that is actually, for this particular type of character, that is pretty good. Oh, there it looks like one right there. There's that noise again. I'm very concerned. Where is this noise coming from? Uh, looks like we got a trader just landed over there. Too bad I can't sell them the ones I've got. The uh, upgrades I've got. Oh, there's one right there in the f distance. And they're too far away to really make a difference. How much cytophosphate do I have? 117. So if we could find one more plant, we're set. And those guys that are supposedly going to attack us, they're so far away, I don't think they even know where I'm at. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Alright, we're all set. Let's head for a Nautilin. And you see our water thing is going down again. There we go. And we're in. And now we can create our fuel cells. Oh, it switched. There we go. One, two, three, and we need 12 more cytophosphate to craft one. That's interesting. I'm curious. I thought it said it needed 40. It did. I thought we had 120. Okay, well, that's different. It's all right. Okay, so we're charged now. And it took two of them. That's annoying. All right, so what do we need to do? It should tell us in just a second. I think we have to scan. Okay. Remember where we parked. All right, so I think we just do a scan. No scanning technology. All right, so is it telling us to go somewhere? No. Not really. Install new tech slots in your inventory. All right, let's take a look. What does it want? Let's see. Well, there's no technology I can install, so I guess that's not happening. I'm thinking I just got to go a certain distance, and then it will give me an update. There we go. Locate the aquatic structure. Why am I dropping? I should be rising. I wonder if they changed how it operates. That's interesting. Okay, so it's that way that we need to go. So here's a little trick. That's eight and a half minutes away by Nautilin. So the trick is, is that we go to our starship. And if you, funny enough, you can sometimes go out of the land, but it doesn't always work. Okay, get out of your Nautilin. 
We will get some more cytophosphate, by the way. I'm not sure why it decided that we had less than we think we did, but... I want to try to get just a little bit more, because we'll need a bunch of those fuel cells. And I'm going to go through the water and find some. There's one over there. One. Two. That gives us another 50. I need more. Oh, my toxic protection's falling. I just realized it. Okay, that gave us some more. There's a bunch right there. There we go. All right. I think we got enough. Let's go ahead and head back. So we're going to get to our starship here. We're going to fly. Ooh, there's a bunch right there. Here we go. Out of the water. Hi, buddy. I'm not doing anything. Let him get done. How much cytophosphate do we have? Nice. Okay. So what does it take to make one of those again? We just see something here. We need salt. So we need a bunch of salt. That gives us salt. Let's go ahead and get it. Boy, this guy just doesn't want to leave me alone, huh? See, you do it like that, and he just doesn't... You don't have to worry about him as much. You use a little bit more salt. There's one. How much we got? We're up to 228. I want one more, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and scan the flying creatures that we see here. There we go. There we go. That should be enough. Let's get back to my ship. Where's my ship at? There it is. I'm gonna grab some extra carbon. There we go. Okay, good. So now we can grab that. In my exosuit, I'm gonna build in some extra one of some of these. There, that should be enough. Okay, good. And while we're here, any place to put you? Oh, that's why I have it in my inventory, because my inventory in there is full. But we're going to put it in our starship, because I don't want it here. And I don't need that here. Um, there we go. Salt. Oh, we can make, what, one more, I think? Yeah. And we used up the rest of the salt. Excellent. Excellent. All right, good. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead and get going. We're going to go head over to the spot it told us to go to. And we'll do it by ship. Now, it would have taken eight minutes to get there by ship. 20 seconds by... Uh, by Nautilin, that is. And 20 seconds by fighter. Oh. Ah, get up. There we go. I almost skimmed the surface of the ground there. So, you remember what we said. Crap. <laughs> Let's head back to our Nautilin, shall we? I don't think we can find... I'm skimming the ground here now, of course. Is the ocean right here? Hopefully we can find our Nautilin again. Here, I know what we can look for. We can look for the ship. See the ship on the ground there? That's where we can head. That's where our Nautilin is. Very funny. There we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Right here. I can't see a blessed thing, of course. So the Nautilus should be right here. Let 
Let's see if we just hover. Can we get access to the Nautilin? No. Ah, crud. Alright, let's go ahead and land. That was stupid. I put all the supplies in the Nautilin to build the... Um... Base for it. So that's kind of stupid. 45 minutes in, I'm already screwing up here. Distress beacon. There it is. Let's get in the Nautilin real quick. And we'll pull it out. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Um, we'll go ahead and pull this out too. And we'll need... Yeah, let's pull out the whole stack. Okay, we'll leave the pearls in there for now. Okay, here we go. And let's try this again. That would have been a bad mistake. That's strange. Is it taking us in a different direction, or...? No, I think it is. I think it's taking us the same way. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Sunken structure, 20 seconds away. So we have to... We're going to be redoing the um, Nautilin base, and we'll call it in. And then once we're done calling it in... We'll just keep going at that point. Now, how can the sunken structure be in the middle of land... All right, let's take a look. Supposedly it's down there. Oh, wait a minute, before we go. Another flying creature. Any other flying creatures floating around that we haven't scanned yet? There's a couple over there. There we go, got them. Is that all of them? Eight of nine. We've got one more. And the last one is also a flying creature. So we'll just have to keep an eye open for it. And if we can find it, it may only appear during those storms, so we'll take another look later on. Uh, but if we can get it, we can get a whole bunch of nanites from it. All right, let's go to the sunken structure. And we won't need the dawdle in this time, so let's just go ahead and head in. Because we would have had to get out. Watch out for these guys. The Epistle Horrors. Take them out and grab the eyeball. I haven't found any use for the eyeball. There's another one on the other side. Go ahead and grab it. There we go. And they will suck you in. You gotta be careful. And is there one more? Oh, it just has it as floor. Okay, we're good. Let me recharge my ammonia with ammonia. Get the and let's go inside. Yeah, the hazardous floor is at the ceiling. There he is, right there. Got him. All right, we're done. All right, just go to the Forsaken Terminal. You can get all kinds of stuff in here. A lot of times these terminals are uh, available to you to get things, but I'm just going to go straight to the Forsaken Terminal. Get rid of the residual goop. Despite the decay, the station's mainframe remains functional. The records have clearly been accessed by whoever came here before. The last entry is a download of a high-power sonar unit. But there is something strange. The timestamps have been purged, and there is no way to tell how long ago the crew were here. Was this place on land when it was last visited? The horrors that lurked outside must surely have come after. But what drew them here? Unless... We download the plans. So we need one solar mirror, three crystal sulfides, glad we got those, and some ferrite dust. Okay. And that's how to build a solar mirror. So we need gold and silver to build a solar mirror, which we don't have on us. And chromatic metal. Okay. And is there anything else to harvest from this place? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh boy, there's so much stuff in here to get around. Okay. And up we go. We will definitely not find any gold or silver down here. And we're in our ship. Okay, good. So, what do we do? So we got to build it into our Nautilin, first of all, and I'm sure that that's what it's going to tell us to do, right? We need gold and silver. Do we have any on us? Let's find out. We have a little bit of gold. And that's it. We need silver, too. 
This planet does not carry any, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. No. Any of the planets? We got gold on that one. And that has aggressive sentinels. That'll be fun. Copper, copper, and the other two we've never been to. Okay. But we can also get gold and silver, as you know, from asteroids. So let's go ahead and hit up. And stop. So take a look. Asteroid fields are showing up a lot more often in No Man's Sky for some reason. So we'll head towards the space station, but with the idea that we'll stop when there's some asteroid fields. I just passed one. Hmm. Waiting. Wow, really? That's weird. Okay, we got all the way to the space station with no asteroid fields. Yeah, except there's one right next to me. Okay, let's head. Head this way. Got some tritium. Silver. Alright, we'll just grab as much as we can. Tritium we can sell. It's if the tritium hyperclusters are actually worth more than the tritium itself. So if you don't need tritium, sell it. These spiky guys are platinum, just so you know. So you don't have to shoot them. I'll probably shoot some by accident anyway. There we go. I think, what, what do you think? I think we got enough? Who knows? It's the silver that I'm concerned about, because gold can give you, uh, the gold ones will give you, uh, what do you call it? Um, nuggets. Okay, we got 150 gold, 100 silver. A little bit of platinum, of course. So, how much do we need to build that with? Do we have enough? Let's find out. Go to the log. Whenever ships appear like that, the asteroid field will move. Uh, let's see. So, we need to make a craft a solar mirror. Can we build a solar mirror? Let's do it in our exosuit so we have it on our person. There it is. We do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Solar mirror crafted. We've got three crystal sulfides. we got ferrite dust. So we have enough to complete the installation. So we should be ready to go. So we want to go back to the planet we were at. So here is the space station. And it's the noxious planet, correct? Is that it? I don't even know anymore. Nope, that's capped. Should be, I think, over here. Is that it? That's it. All right, let's head for the planet. Now, we don't have to go to the same spot we were at before. We can go ahead and land at a particular area and just, you know, wherever there's water and just drop in. Looks like they got another storm going on again. I think we're headed towards water. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's water all over the place, I guess. Looks like there's more water over here. Let's go ahead and head in this direction. Down we go. Very long episode, this one. Because we want to... do it right, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Is that... No, okay. I thought there was a landing platform there for just a second. I must have saw those water, those round little things there. Okay, this looks like water to me. Let's just get over land real quick and drop it down. Okay, so we have to get our Nautilin out. Let's go ahead to the water. Drop down a little bit. Nautilin chamber. 
suddenly we don't have enough salt? Probably because it's all on our ship, right? Oh, and we used it to make other things, too. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, they're gone. Because I was out of the water. Interesting. I have to remember that. Nautilin chamber. Okay, and you go down here to the blue one and summon it. And then go back in your menu and delete it. There we go. And jump back in your Nautilin. Okay. So we're going to have to remember to keep that stuff on me. So we need to put in the sonar. That is this one right here. We now have all the parts to make it. Done. Exosuit. I want to make sure we don't have too much in here that we don't need. I'm going to see if I can't put this. Can I put this in my... I can't. I can put it in my ship. And I'm going to put this in my ship. And I'm going to put this in my ship. Because I don't want to have them on me right now. And I'm going to keep these on me. Okay, good. We have enough slots available to get some stuff done. So, what do we do? We want to locate the survivors. So, we're going to hit the C. I don't think that does anything. No. Objective complete. Let's go ahead and wait just a moment and let it decide how we're going to do this. I think we just use the sonar we're going into the X menu uh, to detect and explore sunken wrecks. The cruise luncheon mentioned, mentioned a freighter, so we're going to go to the sonar. Down starships. Very handy to look for crashed starships if that's what you like to look for. Crashed freighters is what we want. Sunken wreck. Over there, 15 minutes away. Let's go ahead and exit our Nautilin, go back to our ship. And we'll fly over there. I used to just take the Nautilin every time I did this mission, and my other saves, and didn't realize that it would just be so much easier to keep calling it in. And just fly there with your ship, because the 20 minutes you take to get there is... how much? 40 seconds by ship. By starship, that is. And if you go in the upper atmosphere, you can go a little faster. There we go. Now we'll get there in 20 seconds. Problem is, is if it's in the middle of the ocean... Is that an approximate location? No, that's detected, so that means it's right there. So you'll probably have to land it land nearby unless a portion of the ship is sticking up. If a portion of the ship is sticking up, you're in good shape. You can just land on the portion of the ship. There we go. Yes, we can. See how the top of it is sticking up out of the water? I always like to land up here. A little further. A little further. <laughs> See? Look at that. Right on top. So now we don't really need our Nautilin to go down there. We just got to get down to the structure down below. So, ready? Here we go. It's a long drop. Try to hit your jets before you hit the water so you don't take too much damage. Okay, we got to recharge everything, of course. I'll use oxygen this time. Okay. And here is the distorted voice of the freighter terminal. Log 12, breach event 8 souls. Now we're up to 8, day 8. Locate the wreck. Located the wreck, but the ship's computer was a washout. We salvaged what supplies we could and left. I don't want to be nearby when the water eats through the reactor housing. Tidal patterns here are increasing strange. The water has risen rapidly, but we are yet to see it ebb. We could return and salvage more when the water falls away. Wow. So the survivors made it back to the wreck of the, their freighter, but moved on soon after. I will have to do the same if I am to find them. Before I leave, I make one final search of the archives. There are no more clues, but I do locate blueprints for some aquatic construction modules. At least the journey was not in vain. Shut down the signal. I shut down the distress beacon. There is no one here to rescue. I got large glass panels, moon pool floor, glass tunnel, L-shaped glass tunnel. So basically these are things to build that you can build a structure underwater. Very handy. I like those things. I haven't usually, I haven't done a base underwater yet. So, so you want to get back up to your ship, you say? You can either fly all the way up there if you have strong enough uh, jets on your jetpack, or go to one of the edges of this rounded section here and just go up that edge. See? And go up out of the water. You just need to fly up a little bit. And you can run the rest of the way. See? There we go. Let's recharge our toxic thing. Okay, we're all set. So what's next? Oh, let me guess. I was supposed to scan for something, right? Abandoned structures. Crying out loud. <laughs> 
All right, back the way we came. So we gotta get down to the seafloor. Yeah, hurt myself getting in the water. Uh, Nautilin chamber, build it, and they will come. Recall in your Nautilin. Get rid of the base. And get in your Nautilin. Alright, so we need to detect uh, sunken buildings. So let's go back to the sonar. Sunken buildings. There we go. Potential source. Uh, where at? There it is, back behind me. About two and a half minutes. We can do that. Let's do that. Let's take the Nautilin. We can't, there's no, there's no special jets or anything like that in the Nautilin. Underwater or above water doesn't make a difference. At the top of the water, you still use fuel. There's no mining lasers. There's nothing on here. But you see the fuel drops pretty rapidly. I just wanted to at least show you that. We're only two minutes away. Just ran into some fish. I don't know what that was about. The only thing is, and we can call in our ship, of course. The only thing is, is that uh, we have to find land nearby to call our ship onto. And we'll just travel along the surface edge here. A little easier. You could go underwater, I mean, if you want to. Fish are the only thing you really have any trouble with. You know, other structures, you just go right through them. And it doesn't damage your ship in any way. We've talked about that, though, whether that wouldn't be a bad idea. And I'm not sure it's such a great idea to do that. And we're already over an hour. <laughs> so, a little less description going into this of what we're doing and what we're building. And that should speed things up for the rest of our episode. Because pretty much I'll go ahead and read the things that we need to read. Knowing that we're heading to a sunken building, things like that. I'll go ahead and kind of keep that in here. But I'm not going to describe everything around me as much. 18 seconds, look at that. So that didn't take long. It looks like they have we have land right over there. Let me see. We're right over there. Yeah, we just go head for land down there. Plus, we might need the nautil in here in just a minute. Hi there. Another abyssal horror. Is there any others? There's one on the other side, but I'm going to try to ignore him this time and just go in. Now there is usually a. Tentacle up there. Take him out. Okay. Wee, this one's just as busy as the last one. Corrupted terminal. Take out the goop. And here we go. Log access. Signal echo distorted. Recovering data. Read log. 62A, breach event 12 souls. It was my turn to dive today. Once again, nothing of interest. Nothing but kelp and rocks. The water is yet to recede. Some of the crew have taken to swimming without their suits. It looks so inviting. Leave. That's a little hint as to what might have happened. We'll trace the survivors across the oceans, what it's saying. So we're going to keep doing that. Let's get to our Nautilin. Inside, we're going to use our sonar to search for another sunken building. And it's asking us to charge it, but I'm going to wait till it gets into the 20s. Uh, sunken buildings, there we go. How far away is this one? Eight minutes. Yep, we're going to head for land. If you hit the space bar on your keyboard, you will rise rapidly. And looks like we have land right here. And then we're pulling in our ship. we we'll have to check our launch thrusters here. Alright, let's head over. Oh, they're only at 70%. We're good. Okay. Next structure, 20 seconds away by Starship. And 10 seconds. Now, these structures are, again, they're in the middle of the ocean here, so you have to find some land nearby that you can land at. Looks like we are very fortunate to have land right here. So that's good. Skipped across the ground, I know. Leave me alone. We're going to go ahead and swim to this one. Because it's pretty close by. We'll shoot the Abyssal Horror. 
grab his eyeball, and then go in the door. Okay, take out the guy to the right. Got him. And into the terminal. Get rid of our coop. Log access, signal that was stored, recovering data, read the log. Log 115C, breach event 21 souls. The secondary dive team came back early today. They found a cave full of strange crystals, but the lights on the sub cut out and forced them home. They seem upset, disturbed, but we have to go back while we still have an idea of where it is before the shifting tides rob us. We'll never build anything without advanced materials. Log 115D, we fixed the lights on the Nautilus. I'm heading out. Log continues. Log 119A. This is 23 souls now. We found the cave. I knew we would, but what a find. Great towering crystals of brilliant red, rich metal deposits, concentrated deuterium. All we could ever need. We just, we might just make it after all. Now, if only we could get a dry night's sleep. Leave. All right. So there's our next thing. Trace the survivors across the ocean. So we're going to do it again. This time we have to build our Nautilin. Call it in. Get rid of the base. And enter. And we're going to use our X to... I hit the charge button by accident. I'll have to wait for the scanner to recharge. Hold on a second here. And now. Sunken buildings. Where's our next one? So much crap on my screen now. I don't know where it is. It's pointing that way. 757. Okay, we'll head towards our starship first. And we'll take the starship there. See if I can get out of the water. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't get damaged. It's fun to do that, though. All right, off we go. It's fun jumping out of the water and onto land with the Nautilus. I used to be able to skip across land, like skip across these little islands and stuff like that with it, but um, I think they have adjusted it so as soon as you get out of land onto land with it, it just stops and you're done. All right, the sunken building is very accurately detected right here in the middle of the ocean, and I have nowhere to land. Um, that's the nearest land over there, so we got a little bit of a journey to go. All right, we'll go to this one. Oh, what was that? Well, you know what? This will work right here. This was a little closer than I expected. Do I need anything for my starship? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, we're going to build it right over here. Call it in. Okay, and into the Nautilus. All right. Uh, let's see. It is that way. We did cut in almost seven minutes off of our time, so about seven minutes off of our time, so that's good. So we got to watch our fuel cell. When it gets into the 20s, we can go ahead and recharge. You get it below 20, and you'll need two fuel cells to charge it to maximum. Let's check it real quick. 34. All right. Strange how it keeps sinking, though. That wasn't something that was built into these things. Okay. And Abyssal Horror is gone. Another eyeball. In we go. I'm going to recharge my other oxygen unit and take out the guy in the corner. There we go. Back to... Nope, I don't want to do that. There we go. Rotten terminal. Log accessed. Blah, blah, blah. Read log. Log 328A. 98 souls. So we took a big jump here. I had the dream again. The endless purple waves, mile after mile after mile. A relief at first, from that dull crimson ache. Hmm. But then, I can't escape the feeling there's something else there. I look around and there's nothing. Nothing. 
I blink, and I see them. Faint at first, just lines, but it's unmistakable. Repeated geometric shapes traced in the sky, row after row of triangles, slowly scrolling past, and I can't explain it, but it's the most terrible thing I've ever seen. It's almost a relief to wake up and see the rain again. Log continues. 1998B. Now we're at 399 souls. We took a really, really big jump here. This is very close to the one that we found, right? They've gone back to that wretched cave, every one of them. No one is listening to me. We can still build the hyperdrive, I know it. After that, flush, after that, flushing the salt out of the launch thrusters will be easy. Lock continues. 2001P, 399 souls. We've all had the same dream, the same rambling, the teeth in the sky, those crystals. It's nonsense. There's nothing else down there. We've taken it all. But what can I do? Maybe I missed something. Maybe they're right. One last look won't hurt. Leave. So we gotta find the remains of the crew. That's what it says. So we're gonna head back to the Nautilin. Uh, where are you? There you are. Use the scanner to search for the crew. Signal is weak. Several scans may be required. So we're gonna head in here. Uh, I'm gonna recharge my other protection. So first thing we do, hit the C. Distance scouted, one, two. Move to a different spot. So you see it's distance scouted, 92, 98, 100. Okay, that means you have to go 100 units, and then you scan again. And then we move again. Get up to about 100. And then scan one more time. This is the final resting place, it says up in. It is over there, ten minutes away. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the ship. Okay, the Nautilin chamber's down to 24. We can use one thermal fuel cell to charge it. Good. And we should be coming up on the ship here in just a moment. Yeah, it's right in front of us. Excellent. See? It always gets annoyed with you if you get out. Oh, look, it's going to stay on the ground out here. That's pretty cool. So these guys, you can actually tame one of those and you can fly them. So that's something. Still haven't discovered the last one. Let me check. Oh, there it is. There it is. Got him. And it came out in the middle of a storm. See that? Let's get in our ship first. Let's go ahead and get the discovery, which gives us an extra 2,250 nanites. Excellent. All right, good deal. All right, let's take off and go find out what happened to the crew. Uh, to the left. 30 seconds away. Journey milestone accomplished. That's how many planets now? 10 planets. We're an encyclopedia. So we won't get any more um, accomplishments, that is, from doing so. No more rewards in that area, but we'll still get the, gather the nanites every time we discover them. And as you know, I like to discover the animals on all planets, so. Three, two, one. How far out is it? It's right here. We've got land all over the place around us here. Let's go to this one over here. This looks like a nice island. Final resting place, it says. 400 units out. Let's take the Nautilin. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to do that now. you got to be in deep enough water to make it. I don't know why I went to first person. I wasn't trying to. There we go. And let's head out. It's not too far. We could have swam there, but the Nautilus will get get us there a little quicker. And we'll be protected. Okay, where's the doorway? Doorway's on that side. Missile horror. Another eyeball. 
in we go. Get rid of our friend in the ceiling. There we go. I don't know how close you got to get for him to attack you, but... Log access, though. I don't have to get, didn't have to get rid of anything this time. Read the log. Trapped. Subreactor leaking. It grabbed me, but they're dead now. Their eyes are all shut. I think my leg is broken. My hand hurts. If I can just find an air tank, I can still get back home. Log continues. The recording continues, but it's just hours of scratchy silence, the static of the currents. I have a haunting sensation of being watched. I wonder who this crew really were. It seems I will never find out. Leave. Well, that's not creepy at all. Inherited the helmet of the lost diver. Transform the appearance of your exosuit. So we can get the lost helmet now. So, we found the remains of the crew. And, if I'm not mistaken, let's get in our Nautilin first. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is the end of the secondary mission of Dreams in the Deep. Dreams of the Deep, pardon me. Alright. Let's head back to our ship. We're going to change our appearance. Don't we have one at our base? Do we have an appearance changing unit at our base? I think we do. Okay, so we're done with this awful, awful planet. <laughs> Let's get out of the atmosphere. Alright, where are we going? Uh, should be right there. We're at my ship. Xantho Prime. Bountiful planet. Someone made mention, and I'm mentioning this in an hour and 17 minutes into my video, <laughs> in one of the comments that, hey, when you did your... Oh, i got to fight someone now. Are you kidding me? Should we fight him? I really don't want to spend... I have a defense chit. Let's use the defense chit. I never used one before. I will have aid. I am going to fight him now. Okay. And how many we're gonna get? One down. Where's the other one? Looks like we got three of them. Two down. Don't want to shoot until the guy's out of the way. All three are down. Okay, good deal. Never had used that before. So, that's cool. Never. I mean, all the, all the years I've been playing it, I've never used one of the defense chits. How many ships have we defeated now? 50 of them, huh? Nice. Considering it's a permadeath run. I notice my shields are down, but they're going to recharge on their own once I, you know long enough without fighting. Alright, let's go ahead and land at my base. And I think, yeah, I do have an appearance changing unit in the front. There we go. Alright, let's check this thing out now. And I'll decide whether I'm going to keep it on as well. <laughs> Okay, so it is on the head, of course, and where is it here? Shroud of Freedom, we got the Fearsome Visor, First Spawn, Lost Bathosphere. Ready for this? And that's what it looks like. Um, let me see, I'm mostly blue and gold, so I'm going to go blue. Blue? Okay, it's only giving me one accent color. Go white. Oh, it's the brightness of it, look at that. That's pretty neat. I mean, that really is pretty cool. If you think about it. Have a black. What does that do? It just dims it. Purple. Red. Let's go through the colors. Yellow is pretty wild. That's almost creepy looking. Let's go ahead and do that. I like creepy. We'll leave it like that for just a moment. So what we want to do, let's get a nice picture.
I like that. I think we have ourselves. You probably saw it at the beginning. This is our screenshot. For Dreams of the Deep. Or should we go right up close? I think I like the up close version. There we go. All right. Well, I'm going to change it back because <laughs> it's just a little too creepy looking for my for my taste. And we're going to go ahead and call this video here in just a second. Let's go ahead and switch back to our Chico Shroud of Freedom or Fearsome Visor. Yeah, we'll stick with Fearsome Visor. That's good. And there it is. All right. Let's go ahead and save this. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this wonderful secondary mission. So what do we got left? What do we got left? Let's take a look real quick here. Uh, lock. Okay. So we just had the settlement, and I, like I said, I'm going to put that off to the end, but I do want your opinions on this, so please leave a comment in regards to what you'd like to see. Um, so I'm going to continue making these missions. This mission's going to come out, this video will come out weeks after... I've made it. So literally, I'm still, believe it or not, in January right now. So this will come out probably sometime either late February, early March. Um, and then after that, I'm going to continue on with the Atlas missions. That's my next thing, the Atlas path. So I'm going to do that, but I still want your thoughts on the settlements. So we'll go ahead and uh, leave it here. And I want to thank you all for watching. Again, appreciate your being here. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like the contact. Content. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.